Come along, Billy. Oh, wait. Yes. Ah, I didn't make a map. Ow! And I did that thing again where I went back in the door. Okay. So, based on... Actually, not my last playthrough. Uh, I should go... Eh, I'm not gonna bother. There's another one right here. There's plenty of billies. I don't need to worry about saving them all. Yeah, based on my... Not my previous high score run, but like uh, my attempts after that. I pretty much determined that... What did I determine? Oh. Knife, not note use. I was already not using the knife, but like, more specifically, I don't use the knife. Ah! I'm out of it tonight. I do not know why I'm so out of it. Okay. Basically, what I should do is not use the knife until I've reached level 7. Because... I considered the possibilities, mainly that, you know, uh, using the knife raises the level faster, so hypothetically, you should be raising the mod score modifier faster and getting more points, but it did not work out that way. So the best thing to do is avoid the knife until I already get to level 7, and then at level 7, start using the knife, because I don't have to worry about the game getting harder from that point. Because I don't know if he, like, shows up more or anything, or, like, shows up sooner, but he absolutely does not get faster after level 7. So, like, that's the point at which being cautious is no longer necessary. Should I try and... Should I try? Should I try? Should I try to avoid him? I made it. Oh, man. This is a Billy right there. And there's the knife. I shall not be using it. Ah, I could have made that. I got skittish. Okay, he seems to be coming from this direction a lot. Ah. Alright, I actually got the billy. Just check, make sure there's no billy. Oh, there's a billy there, of course. That's where Billy loves to hang out. Okay. Didn't get him. Dang, Michael Myers, why you gonna be all fast? Alright. I don't think I can... I don't think I can do... I'm gonna try it. I think I just barely made that. So... You know, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if I lose a Billy. Billies are plentiful. Oh! Let, ah! <laughs> the game almost got me. The game almost got me. But it didn't. Okay. No billies. Where are you coming from? You come from that way. I will give you three chances to come from the other side. Fine, I'll go the other direction. 
I don't care. I don't want to go that way. I'd rather go this way. So even if you're in my way, I can avoid you, I say, despite the fact... Ah! Ah! I messed up. I come up with all these, like, strategies for this game. And then I don't really implement them very well. Oh, come on. There was none. Okay, there was one down there, but he, he somehow got murdered. We don't know how. It was probably an accident. Certainly not my fault. go over here and get this one. Or, um, while he's getting murdered, I'll go over here and get this one. There we go. Nope. Definitely too fast at this point. I just have to hope that he comes from the other side. <sighs> come on. Come from the other side. Thank you. Such a polite serial killer. Oh. Eh, maybe. My f oh, come on. I like when he comes out of the door. Except for when I get killed and he does it. But, like, you know... Other times, I, I find it to be a nice little addition to the game. Alright. And what's happening? There we go. so hard to lock on to. Alright, where is he coming from? Excellent. Haha! <laughs> is that our Billy? There's a Billy. Great. Well, that Billy's dead. Yep, that's a dead Billy. Maybe there'll be some live Billies downstairs. No live Billy so far. Just one masked killer. There's a live Billy up there, but I don't want to go up there. There's a knife. I discussed the knife. I discussed it at length. And there's a Billy. Oh, oh. Ah. There was a Billy. Oh, I get another chance at this Billy. Oh. I made that. Excellent. I exploited his desire to murder Billy. You know, just like in the movie. Actually got him. Cool. Okay. See, if he comes from that side and I get him close enough, I can get around him. Also, that was an example of one of the other things that I've said about this game. Um, you just witnessed that if I were standing there, I would have been dead. Not there exactly, but if I was like that high up when I left and then re-entered the flashy room, because like he popped out right as I was going in. 
I have strategies for this game. Not so much strategies as, like, a list of dumb things not to do. And, uh... Overall, if I actually, uh, do all... If I actually, like, listen to my list of dumb things not to do... I was checking to see if there was a Billy upstairs. Yes. If I actually listen to my list of dumb things not to do in this game, I can do pretty good. Starting. Well, that was a good start. This is a bad start, actually. Let's see if this works. Going counterclockwise. Because I did have a theory that it switches. That at one point in the game, you're supposed to. Oh, what the hell was I doing? I need to go this way. Oh. Oh, just barely made it. Alright. I'm fairly confident that there is... Ow! Bloody! I did not want to do that. <laughs> he is very slow. And there's a Billy up there. Mm, no. Sticking with it. Okay. He just seems to be enforcing my previous theories. That going clockwise around the house is the way to go. Except for that time. Did I... Yes, I grabbed the billy. Excellent. Oh. <laughs> Not passing up a nice easy billy like that. the easiest billies in the game. Wish all the billies were this easy. Alright, now back to my uh, clockwise path that I was trying. Where is he? Oh. oh uh, I hate those rooms so much. try to usually I can jump over him and get to the other side of the room before he kills Billy while he's trying to kill Billy so what I'm wondering here is if I need to go up and then down to avoid him or if I can just like go up like to, you know, not get killed, because that is the main thing hurting my score. Dying? It's a problem. I should do score runs in video games where you cannot die. But then, how would you know when the game was over? You wouldn't. The game would go on forever. Sounds like a, uh, ah! There we go. Sounds like an episode of Reboot. I will say one of my favorite things about Reboot. I know there's a lot of things to love about Reboot, but uh, one of my favorite things. Billy. Ah. There we go. My favorite things about Reboot was that one time there was a game like and it was like, oh my god, it's a horrible, like, legendarily, like, deadly game. And it was like, a children's game? Because from the perspective of uh, the characters in Reboot, a game that's very, very easy for the player is very, very difficult for them. And I thought that was a very clever thing that they, you know, that they did in that episode. Ah, yeah, I'll show you 
I'll just go this way. Maybe I won't go that way. Maybe I'll go this way. Maybe I'll go this way instead. Aha! It worked out the way I wanted it to. But that time it didn't. That time it did. Yes, things are working out the way I approximately wish that they would. Okay. Alright. Alright, for the rest of this run, I'm going to stay up when I go to avoid him. Okay, yeah. That's, I'm, I'm, uh, okay, I'm not going to do that anymore. It doesn't seem like that should be safer. It seems like that should actually be more dangerous. Oh no, I've already been stabbed. Oh well. I'm still gonna do that. Wait, why am I going that way? I wanna go this way. Early level, I can not have to worry about that. I literally have to, like, pull Billy away from him. Billy just runs right into him. I did not want to go in that door. That was very close. Closer than I would have liked. Pretty good, picking up Billy's. Just barely. into the door. Nah, it couldn't be. The one hand thing maybe like going up and down like makes him stall out a little. But he's still like going in the same direction I'm going. I just, yeah. I should run tests. Try and avoid him like a hundred times on either, of either style, and see if I'm more or less successful, going up and down or just going up. And there's a Billy. Ha! You won't get to this Billy. Haha, <laughs> I showed him. He can't murder this child. There are several others that he will, but that particular one, I stopped him from. Oh, Billy, what are you doing up there? Do, 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 do. 
do. Ah! Oh, man. Oh, forgot my own rules. Forgot my own rules. Also, that was... That wasn't... That wasn't a matter of whether or not I uh, went up and down. I, I started moving way too soon. Flash. <sighs> not gonna try and avoid him in this room. It's a stupid room that I don't like. I would not recommend it. It gets one star on Yelp. Can you give zero stars on Yelp? This room gets whatever the minimum number of stars you can give on Yelp. That is how many stars it gets. Nah, I wasn't able to do it. A lot of times they will just like respawn in the same room, so that's why I check. Is this flashy room? Yes, flashy room. This room gets the same number of stars on Yelp. Identical to the other flashy room. They both get the exact same review. Lights were flashy. It was difficult to not get murdered. One out of five stars. Okay, where am I at? So he wants me to stab him. He wants me to play into his game. But I'm not gonna. Until later. Later I will... Later I will stab the dickens out of that guy, but... There we go. For now, though, I won't. I will not stab him. Because... It makes the game harder. Faster. It makes the game harder faster. Ah, ha, ha. Stupid. Okay, no. It's not really something I need to concern myself with until level 7, I guess. But I should still be wary of doors. Okay, so far, this has working. I think it might be actually be working better... Not positive, though, because I did die a few times doing that. Uh, so I guess I gotta go upstairs now. That's the worst floor of the house. Alright, there's a Billy! Excellent. Yeah, once I get to level 7, I need to be super cautious about the doors. Because oddly enough, you know, when he's on screen, he can kill you, but that's actually when you're the safest. Because you know he's not going to pop out of anywhere. That is one of the most ridiculous things I've ever said, but it's true. As long as he's on screen, he's not going to appear behind me like that. Alright, let's give the top floor a chance as long as we're up here. Billy, look at that Billy. 
Ah. Grabbing the billies is so hard for some reason. I can do it sometimes. I'm getting better at it. That is like the the one gameplay aspect of this game that I can confidently say I am getting slightly better at as I play it is actually grabbing the billies. So I actually did watch um, someone else playing this game like, and I don't know what was wrong with them because they were just like holding down the button the entire time. Which as you saw means you don't always take them across the thresholds into new rooms. I think this will take me where I want to go, yes. I think. I say yes without actually knowing if this is where I want to be. Pretty sure it is, though. Is there a Billy here? No. I always hope for an easy Billy. This might be impossible. If my theories are correct. Not impossible, just difficult. Unlikely. That is it. The word I'm looking for is unlikely. This might be an unlikely venture. If my theories on this game are correct. Okay. As stated previously. I theorize that he is more likely to come from one direction than the other. But like, whenever I'm thinking I've figured that out, he switches and starts coming from the other direction. Watch out, Billy! There we go. I actually want to go in this door. So hypothetically, I should be able to get around him. Yes. Hypothetically, this is going pretty good. Don't come from that side. There we go. Ah, that wasn't going to work. Might be better off just going this way. Okay, 25 to 650. Because of the score modifier that I'm actually not that far away. Flashy room, this flashy room, this flashy room. Ah. Gee. Thanks, Windows Defender Summary. Alright. Calculating how close I need to be to him. 
that close. And then, like, slightly further away when he's faster. Oh, come on, really? There was no billies on this whole floor. And to deal with flashy rooms. coming from. There you go. Ah, didn't want that to happen. There we go. Ha, huh, take that. Nope. Now it's not gonna work. Okay. Ow. Ah, I'll be up there later. Oh, wait, yeah, that means I should... Okay, I definitely... I now know where I should go when I get up on top. Alright, a billy. Ha-ha! I locked on to the billy. And uh, Michael Myers seems to be adhering to what I want him to do. Oh, he's doing... Oh, he's being a very good boy. He's being a very good boy. He's probably gonna stop doing that right here. Yep. There are no good boys in the flashy room. Judging my time is pretty good. Got to wait for Michael Myers to show up. There we go. Because I knew there was a Billy here. Ha ha. I used the power of remembering. To get these flames. Ah, stop coming from that side. I come from the other side. It's a nice side. Yeah, isn't that a nice side to come from? And I know there was one down here, so... Now I go down here. Oh wow, that's a really convenient Billy. Hopefully I can get him past Michael Myers. Ooh. Oh, that would turn. Ow, I might as well go for that one. Now yeah, never turn down an easy Billy, that's what they always say. Oh well, that one ain't that one. <laughs> There's another one, is there? Oh, there is a there's a third one. Did I get him? I did get him. I wasn't expecting to get him. It's hard to grab him in the dark. It's hard to grab him in the light, too. Just overall hard to grab. Probably could have made that one. But I'd rather not try to make them when I can maybe make them. I'd rather, you know, be a little more confident that I made them. And... Oh, oh, Michael Myers making me look like I know what I'm talking about. There we go. My theory has validity. Except for these rooms, the flashy rooms don't go along with that. They do not adhere to my theories about the directions which Jason Voorhees, Jason Voorhees comes from. Yes, my theory is about the direction Jason Voorhees comes from in this game, because you know, Jason Voorhees will pop out if you're not, if you're not careful. That's how you know you're very bad at this game. If you're playing it and you get killed by Jason Voorhees. That is probably the the worst way to lose in this game. Or the best. I don't know. Okay, I really shouldn't have tried that one. Flashy, nope. Flashy, nope. Nope. 
Actually, nope. Actually, nope. I like how they tried to call Michael Myers the shape in the first film, like, make him dark and mysterious, but it, like, didn't work out. Because, you know, it just doesn't work out. The best... The best killers have... Well, the best movie slasher killers have names. You're Jason Voorhees, you're Michael Myers, you're Bubba Sawyer. Or, you know, the other names that Leatherface has had. Leatherface has had a lot of names. Than a lot of people. Like the Chainsaw Massacre is a weird series. <laughs> Why doesn't Billy spawn? Oh, I almost killed myself checking for Billy's. All right, so I'm at forty-seven to fifty. Oh, I have a weird feeling that might mean I'm on level seven. Nope, not yet. I was just checking how fast he was. Leatherface, but Drayton Sawyer? How great of a name is Drayton Sawyer? It's so unassuming. I didn't do the thing with the door. The Billies are all down there. Especially, like, when they announce it in Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2. Like, gotta be one of the best. Okay. Provided that you recently, and like, or that you either recently saw or very well remember the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, then uh, Drayton Sawyer's uh, introduction in Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2 is very, very good. It's a case of, uh, you know, having, as, as the audience member, having information that the characters do not have in a way that enhances your enjoyment of the scene. Oh yeah, we're on level 7. Level 7, level 7, level 7. Making me look like an idiot here, Michael. Michael. You know, with all the Halloween fan films that exist, is there a is there a Knight Rider Halloween crossover? Ah. Picking up the knife is dangerous. I don't think I got it. Nope, I didn't. Knife glitch. Great. Problem with the knife is, like, you pick it up. Will that kill him? I should figure that out. Ah! Okay. Oh, wait, yeah. If, if he doesn't come out the window. Alright. <laughs> he is so fast. Look how fast that Michael Myers is fast. Oh, 
same. All right. This is when the flash rooms get extra deadly. Because I have almost no time to see where he's coming from. Mike's coming from that way. Excellent. Hardest part is I gotta like turn around the room so fast because he could get me in any instant. That's how close he was. I literally did not have a second. I actually, no, a quarter second. I did not have a quarter second to spare there. Ow! Oh, this is my, that was my fault. That was my fault. If you review the stream, I will clearly say I need to keep an eye on the doors. And I did not keep an eye on the door. come out of the door and kill me. No, I'm not going to try and avoid him if he comes out of the door. That's insane. Okay, if he comes out that way again, I'm going to go in here, I guess. Try the other direction. Oh, or maybe I'll accidentally go in the door again. Nope. the way I wanted to go anyway. Okay. Okay. So back up top. The theory's kind of working. At least it seems like it's working. I'm not encountering just endless screens where I cannot get past. I am encountering several times that I can't get past. Alright. Don't walk in front of the door. See, that's me remembering the thing that I said I should do. Shouldn't walk in front of the door. Oh, come on. There were no villies up here. This was a wasted trip. Into a very bad part of town. Well, that Billy's dead. Nothing we can do about that. But maybe other Billies can live. In the future. We must protect the future for all the Billies. All the Billies of tomorrow. Or, you know, the rest of the Billies of today. Okay, this should be an easy one. Lots of things should be easy. Alright, we got him. All we gotta do is have Michael come from the left. Excellent. 70,000. 875. We are now on level 8 or 7, I don't remember. Ah. Oh. Where are you coming from? Yeah, you're coming from the coming from the door. I was expecting that. 
All right. Yeah, it's a little easier to kill him, to stab him once you get to level seven because he's moving so fast. And basically you just need him to run into the knife. And I really need to uh, experiment with a knife because when you pick it up, you do that one stab. So I'm wondering if that will stop him, if I can literally pick up the knife as the attack to stop him. No, I will not do that. I will not do that because sometimes when you pick up the knife, you don't pick up the knife. It is a problem which I have referred to at length as the knife glitch. It is not a beneficial glitch. I pushed, uh, did not, did not pick up that billy. Ah, no. So he seems like hypothetically there's a 30% chance he would come out of each of these places, but he doesn't. He comes out of this one all the time. And my theory was that on the bottom floors, he's more likely to come from the right side, and on the top side floor, he's more likely to come from the left side. And then, as you progress in level, he is more likely to come from the designated side, because he'll basically be cutting you off, so that you have to make a complete circuit of the house to avoid him. But this is, like, disproving that. That didn't, though. See, now he's coming from the right side, like I... Like I had assumed. Like I had assumed. Like I had assumed. Like I had theorized. That he should be coming from. See? Okay. I'll have to see if, like, the door is going to affect that in some way. Hate this room. Wow. Look how close he is. Look how close he is. Wow. I'm, I'm shocked that I got that Billy. He was literally just right on my heels. Couple billies away from a high, from a new high score. Okay, where's he gonna come from? Yes. Anywhere except the door, I would have been happy with. Where he comes from? There we go. Pretty good, getting lots of points. Fighting Michael Myers, not exactly. There we go. Okay. I was incorrect from my assumption that it was a couple billies. It's a few billies. so that I can save them from this man. This madman who is murdering billies all over town. Excellent. Oh, that was convenient. All right, here we are. 
Wait. Uh, I don't know why I'm checking. 91350. <laughs> Sorry. The fact that, um, you know, it's actually not that uh, common to get, like, the exact score again. All right. Now, is there a Billy this way? No. Okay. No easy Billies. Oh. Look how close he is. Look how close he is. There was no time for me to think about my actions. Also, I'm hungry. Like... So it's making it a little harder to concentrate. Okay, nope. God. Well, I beat my high score, but I also may have discovered that this game can have unavoidable deaths. Unless I was, like, slightly up. I'm gonna have to review the footage. But unless I was, like, just slightly elevated there, that was an unavoidable death. Which was something I theorized might be possible in this game, given the somewhat randomized nature of it. But, yeah. Okay. Oh, I beat one of the three scores I set out to beat today by, like, a thousand and a couple hundred. Uh, not by a lot. I think by one billy. No, by one stab, even. I didn't even, I didn't even beat it by one.